everybody, I'm Meg from Low and Stamps and you're watching Maker Mornings with Meg, episode 377, which is kind of mind-blowing. But anyway, happy pre-Friday on this Thursday morning. And the project I have to share with you, usually I show you the stamp set right now, but I realized when I got back from all my travels that I love the stamp set and I never got around to getting it. So it is the one from the Zoo Crew Suite. And let us just look up what page this is on. So Zoo Crew is the really sweet set that includes all the fun animals, crocodiles, the bears, the all the things. And uh, it's called Zany Zoo, and it's on page 47 in the book. Uh, it includes some designer series paper that is on the list this, this month. So I'm going to show it to you now and then you will um, be able to look and kind of see for yourself. I think you'll probably want the stamps and the dies um, for the flexibility of it and for the super cute greetings, but I'm going to show you how to use just the paper in case you decide to go this route. So uh, zoo crew here, and this is the zany zoo set um, with the dies and so forth. And then of course we are going to be featuring, I can't actually see, the designer series paper that is um, there in the book on page 46. So with that, um, let's go ahead and actually major kudos to my dear friend, Lindsay Mann, who designed the original card for this and shared it with me when we were on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip to Norway um, earlier in the, well, last month, I guess now. Um, anyway, uh, we, one of the things I love about being demonstrators, having friends all over the world and the chance to gather with them to go fun places. And we always, of course, exchange cards and little treats for each other and things like that. So, um, little asterisk there, less than 1% of demonstrators are in the incentive trip. So, um, kind of a big deal. Uh, with that though, let's go ahead and switch cameras so I can show you this super darling paper. Uh, here we go. All right, so super darling paper as promised. Um, there are, backs of these papers are black and white, fronts of these papers are cute critters, and there are six different patterns of cute critters. Let me grab one of each one. There is um, sort of, okay, we'll call this the birthday critter sheet um, with the elephants, the dogs, armadillos, raccoons, um, all kinds of cute little koala things. Uh, there is the music paper, which I also adore. Bears playing accordions, uh, <laughs> boars playing banjos, frog flutes, turtles crooning, um, all kinds of beaver bongos. What could, what could be better? Then there is my personal most recent favorite, the outdoors paper pigs with their little backpacks, skunks, uh, lions, little um, mini bears, uh, as we call them in New Mexico, but little hedgehoggy kinds of guys. Um, I don't know what this is. Somebody tell me. Um, maybe it is, is that an Australian animal of some kind? Some kind of ring-tailed something or other? Um, anyway, taking pictures. Take only pictures, leave only footprints. And then we have the wheeled paper with the crocodiles, bunnies, boxes and so forth. We have the hobby paper with the llama knitting, the yoga sloth, the cooking goats, the painting hedgehogs, um, and the reading bears and so forth. So um, of all these papers, then they have, of course, interesting black and white backs, which you could color to coordinate with your project. Um, but uh, we are going to go ahead and use these animals um, and we're going to cut out some pieces. So uh, the birthday card version that Lindsay made, I'm going to show you, um, but I couldn't resist. Uh, I think that my version of our card today is going to have to be these bears. Um, so the crooning uh, accordion bear, and I'm just going to do kind of a rough cut around this. I love the little notes in the background that are um, this sort of uh, special interest filler. So I'm going to get a bear and then... Maybe we'll add one more little, um, one more little uh, critter from here. I think I'm going to add a crooning turtle. So I'm going to pull this out too. Now um, I'm not just like cutting straight across because um, there's a sort of a strategy for this um, that involves using the background papers um, here, using these extra edge sheets as 
um, accents. So I'm going to show you a little bit about that here when we do our birthday paper. So uh, fussy cutting lesson. Um, paper snips are great. I like to fussy cut uh, with just a little bit of white border around what I'm doing. I hold my scissors straight. I turn my paper only with my free hand here. Okay, so you'll see my scissor hand never turns. Um, that way I get a nice smooth cut. And I like to leave just a little bit of white border, kind of the same as if you had um, a die set. So if you had a whole bunch of these cards you're making, I would just you know sit and watch television, watch a movie, and cut out the pieces that you need because they are um, kind of a breeze and kind of doesn't take a lot of thought process, nor does it take a lot of time. So let's get our turtle here also, and then we will be ready to start putting our card together. So we're gonna focus on the colors that are in the designer series paper, which is always a great way to pick your colors. Uh, I have Lemon Lime Twist from our Turtle Shell. I have um, Pool Party from our Accordion. And then the other colors that would be in here would be the Flirty Flamingo from his microphone. Uh, pumpkin Pie is a strong color if you're using like the little fox image. Um, so another way to sort of make the most of your scraps from this um, is to go ahead and just pull out your scrap bin. So I don't know about you guys, but I organize my cardstock. Um, I keep a full package of each color and then I put all my scraps in just like a little generic page protector um, and then they're easy to find. So when I want a little scrap here for my um, greeting strips, then I can just kind of pull this out and have um, some good choices and, and so forth available. And it didn't have to cost me to cut into a new piece of cardstock. So um, keep your scraps handy. All right, so then we are going to, sorry, I just realized my camera's a little crooked. Um, then we are going to go um, here to our card base. So this is uh, basic, nope, Smoky Slate. This is Smoky Slate, which is the super light gray. I'm just gonna go ahead and fold that. And then we're gonna give our, um, our bear and our turtle here, they're sort of little, like, uh, I think we're gonna move him to the foreground there like that. And we want to give them um, a place to stand. So I'm gonna put this white um, background on here to just sort of help to focus our focal point just a little bit. Maybe we'll end up moving them like that. And then we are going to need some greetings. So um, like I said, I don't have the stamp set for this through some crazy omission. It's on my next order now. Um, but Charming Sentiments is one of those all occasions greeting sets that you um, would just, you, everything you need is in here, including like, because you totally deserve it. So just um, all kinds of great things, including babies and greetings of um, like support, faith over fear, super fantastic Megan news. Hey there, wishing everything wonderful, beyond grateful. So there's thanks, there's birthdays, there's baby, um, all the kinds of stuff in here. So this is a great set. It does have a coordinating die set here that includes um, the dies to cut out every one of these greetings and some fun accessory dies, hearts and little bows and um, presents and little candles and stuff. So definitely um, a great die set um, bundle or thing to look for in the, in the book. So if you don't have it already. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna go with um, wishing you, let's see. I'm gonna go with Beyond Grateful because um, this is gonna be a thank you card. And it is, here's my greeting right here. So beyond grateful, I'll go ahead and pop that onto a block. This one's a little bit too small, so I'm gonna pop it on an angle. And then I'm going to use, like I said, I had all those strips of paper here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it onto a bright, uh, I'm gonna put it on the bright green actually. And then we'll go ahead and trim that down. So I'm gonna need a, a, a color for that and uh, you can use uh, black, um, but also basic gray is kind of my go-to for, um, one of my go-tos for uh, sentiments here. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink that up beyond grateful. I'm gonna leave myself a little tail and go ahead and stamp that there. So I have our beyond grateful, and then I think I'm gonna accent it with a um, banner here in our uh, coordinating color. 
And let's see, the nice thing about having um, this Stampin' Up! paper trimmer handy is that you can um, trim things down. So I'm gonna give myself uh, plenty of space here to make a little banner tail. And then I'm going to go ahead and line this up. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm looking at the edge here to making sure this is pretty straight. I need a little more space. Um, when I lower this, I'm looking at the track between here to make sure my greeting isn't caught in that space. And then I know that I'm gonna have just a really nice spaced greeting. And I'm gonna cut a banner tail. Now, if you're like nervous about cutting here and then cutting here, cause your banners get shorter and shorter, um, the super quick fix for that is to just go ahead and cut in the center, uh, right up to where you want the tail to end. And then cut uh, from the corner to the top of your tail and the corner to the top of your tail. And then you have your like perfectly shaped little um, banner greeting each time. So, all right, so I've got my Beyond Grateful here that's gonna be here with our, our bear and our turtle. And then um, I want to add one more greeting here. I'm gonna go ahead and clip. Um, I'm pretty confident that I can get that. I'm gonna clip another um, piece here for our other banner. And then I'm gonna turn, flip, clip the end off of this because I don't really want it to overlap our bears. So here are our cute little bear and uh, accordion bear and turtle friends. So they're gonna fit like this. And now I need to um, go back and add just one more extra little focal point. And that is going to be um, this circle here. So this is cut from the uh, Gold Celebrations 12 by 12 Specialty Designer Series paper. It comes in three patterns um, in a package. So there's, you get two sheets, I think, of each one. Let's see. Oh, one sheet of each one. Um, so this one is sort of the confetti paper. I've used this paper for some um, birthday stuff last month in May. Uh, you get this one with the fun celebrations, and then you get this one with the gold dot confetti. Um, spoiler alert, you can use the back side and you also get silver in the same package. So um, one side is printed gold, the other side is the silver. So we're gonna slide this underneath our friends here to give them just a little a bit extra um, oomph. There we go. And so now we're kind of moving along here with our fun focal point. Now, I promise you that when you cut up um, all the animals and so forth. So they're like, you know, cut out of here. Um, when I cut all the animals out of our paper, um, you're gonna end up with these edge pieces like this. And this is not waste, okay? So this um, fun piece here. Um, I like to leave these in as big a section as possible because what I can do then is I can use my paper trimmer to turn these into strips. And I loved the way um, Lindsay did her contrast on her card, which I'll show you at the end. And so I am going to go ahead and cut some um, contrast strips here. So I want them to be, I think, three quarters of an inch wide, looks good. Plus it will make the most of my paper. So I'm just gonna cut some three quarter inch strips here from my scrap. So there's one there. Those are gonna be a little short for this exact card. Uh, so I'm gonna use this one here and cut this. And then I think I need one more. So let me grab one more strip here from this piece. Although probably I could get a couple strips from it. Um, I'm gonna trim this here. So when you're doing this, like I said, save your scraps because they are really useful. So you could also punch circles from these if you're doing circle theme, all kinds of um, great stuff to use those for. So um, have, happy to have my handy trimmer here. All right, so now I'm going to trim these down so that they're close to the same size and have straight ends and don't quite look like I've just cut them out of scraps from the background of things. And now uh, these are going to fit here on my card and I'm just gonna do sort of a scatter here of those. Okay, we're gonna layer this and uh, I like, I like this white um, just a little bit narrower. Usually I make my layers a little fuller, um, but Lindsay likes hers to be a little narrower and I always love her style. So make sure you look her up at um, Inky Thumbs. The Cloud Nine Stampers in Edmonton, Alberta. So, all right. And then, oops, I forgot that this banner goes on top here. So 
Let's see, am I covering up all of my black and white? No, it's going to have a nice show there on the edge and I'm gonna move that part a little up. Okay, so now I have laid out my card and this is what I like to do when I'm designing. Um, putting something together, I like to lay it all out to kind of have an idea of where it's all gonna fit and then I'm gonna move this up, like I said, cause it's gonna hide there. Um, I like to go ahead and stick it down. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna grab some multi-purpose liquid glue. It's my go-to. And remember these animals no, uh, were the extras from the edges of things. So they're not you know, missing out on the party or anything um, by being part of our card here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and glue all of these. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue this too. So actually, I think this one, I'm gonna pop up on dimensionals because you know, why not? And look, a new sheet of dimensionals. Isn't that like, oh, just so exciting. <clears throat> okay, maybe I get excited about uh, silly things, but okay, I know I get excited about silly things. There's no maybe about that. All right, so let's go ahead and flip this over and attach. All right, and now we can come back with our um, bear friend and our turtle friend and start to um, glue these down, so. All right, so I want our bear to be straight. I'm gonna have our banners come down a little. And one of the things I like to do is kind of put pieces together and then just pinch them um, so that they are going to stay uh, where I want them to. And so now I'm gonna grab um, some edge piece here of our piece of uh, dimensionals. Remember, this is, edges are not the trash. Um, hey, it's like a theme on this card, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, pop that on the back there. So now that is going to secure our bear and our banners together where we want them. I'll pop another dimensional out here just to make sure nothing gets shifty. No shifty bears, no shifty accordion playing bears here on our card. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop this. Now I know that the circle is not stuck down yet and that's okay, we're gonna come back to that. But let's go ahead and put a uh, dimensional here on the back of our turtle. And oops, okay, we're gonna have to come back to that real soon here. And I'm gonna pop my turtle way out here. Now, the reason that I didn't stick our um, circle down is because as you can see, you would see through it. So if I put dimensionals out here where um, they're not hidden, then they would show on the front of our card. So what I wanted to do was to wait and get all of those little accessory elements, those accoutrements stuck down on the front of our circle before I added dimensionals. So now I can put the dimensionals where I know they will be 100% hidden by the elements that are already on our card. So now I can take this and we want our bear to be straight, our ground horizontal, um, and go ahead and stick that down. So really fun, right? Now I think I also have another um, piece of basic white that I can pop on here. So if I wanted to, I could put um, another animal here. Oh, what the heck. I'm gonna put this um, banjo playing aardvark guy here on the inside. Uh, again, I'm gonna go ahead and save the edges there because there might be something that I might find um, that I want for those. And one more quick lesson. This has a big white layer, so I'm gonna be pretty brutally quick about cutting this out. Uh, one lesson about holding your paper, turning with one hand and keeping your scissors exactly steady with the other hand. So now we can stick down our uh, little aardvark friend and banjo inside our card. He goes like that. And then we can glue this inside our card. Now, if you wanted to add another greeting, you of course could go ahead and do so. Um, lots of choices. And if you have the stamp set, the coordinating stamp set, then that gives you a really great, um, a really great selection of things that you could stamp inside here. But um, there is our fun, beyond grateful, uh, bear playing card. And then here is the original um, that was done by my friend, Lindsay Mann. And she used a different of the designer series papers in the background there. Card is absolutely beautiful. Um, and then that fun elephant um, from our birthday paper here. So 
um, a really great way to use the paper images that are included, oh, so many of them, um, to be your main focal point. So, and of course, if you have the stamp set, then you can use the little matching greetings. If you don't have the stamp set, um, you're just getting the paper that's part of the special, then you can use a greeting set that um, is kind of fun and fun and frolicky um, to go along with it. So a couple of choices there. Let me show you really quickly the um, paper here. This is the uh, designer series paper special that is going on. Um, so through the end of June, uh, it's 15% off on these selected papers, um, including some that I've shown in the last few days, Countryside Inn, Earth and Elegance, Fresh as a Daisy, uh, my rock star paper from June, um, Inked Botanicals. If I'm going too fast, there's a link in the video description that you can click these. Um, Lace Shop, uh, Let's Go Fishing, Stargazing that we just used to make um, that fun um, DSP fold card. And there at the bottom, Zoo Crew, um, our fabulous um, animal friends from today. So uh, lots of good possibilities for making the most of these papers, whether you have the stamp set or not. Um, and just uh, kind of coming up with some really fun um, ideas for all these pieces. So all the pieces that are used in this are featured in the supply link for episode, it's like a uh, bit.ly link, ep, EP 377 supplies, so that you can um, get what you need to make these cards. And I appreciate your support using that link, um, supports the Loven Stamps uh, shop and helps me to make these videos. And uh, then of course, special thanks to Lindsay um, from, um, Inky Thumbs and Inky Thumbs and her um, Cloud Nine Stampers for the super perfect inspiration on this card. So, uh, thank you guys for joining me this morning. Um, happy Pre Friday again, as it's Thursday. We like to call it Pre Friday here at Loven Stamps. And if you have any questions, um, definitely let me know. Remember that we have until the end of June to take advantage of the new demonstrator special, where you get a uh, basically $55 shopping spree. The demonstrator starter kit is $99. You get to pick out um, uh, 100 and, uh, okay, well, you get a $55 bonus um, set of product on that and your shipping is free, so it's a really good deal. Um, you just pay tax and that is good just until the end of the month. So look uh, at the link in the video description for the details on that. You can pick anything you want from current stuff. You can, of course, pick the designer series paper that's also on special and you get an even bonus discount um, on that because it's a discount inside the discounted kit. And if you are a Loven Stamples demonstrator, um, today is pre-Friday, tomorrow's actual Friday. We've extended the deadline by one day for the um, vacation shoebox swap that you can participate in either um, in person or remotely. So check your email for those details. Let me know if you need them um, and I can send them to you again. If you're not a Loven Stamples demonstrator yet and you've been thinking about becoming a demonstrator, this is a great time to join. Um, you can join us for our fun shoebox swap. Um, no matter where you are in the country, uh, you can come in person or you could participate remotely. Um, lots of fun there. Plus, you get discounts on your stuff. You get um, early access to things like online exclusives. There's all kinds of good things um, that go along with being a demonstrator. So uh, I look, look forward to answering your questions about that. Check my website, um, lovenstamps.com, for more details about that and the starter kit and how all that works as a demonstrator, all the cool perks and so forth. So, And I will be back on Tuesday with another Maker Mornings with Meg video here on the Loven Stamps channel. And I look forward to sharing another project with you then. So happy stamping, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend and uh, enjoy your summer.